Hello everyone, welcome back to GGN. Today is Friday, June 7th, 2013, and I'm Darko. It's a pretty nice day here in the Midwest, not too hot, and uh, not all that much spring. Nice real clouds, so it's a nice change of pace. All right, um, I'm going to cover some, uh, I guess you call it social engineering news. Uh, you could just bypass this video if you don't want to watch it, if it makes you sick or whatever. But either way, I'll cover it because it's it's covered in the mainstream media, and I like to throw it in with other articles. Uh, different, you know, you have left-leaning sites, right-leaning sites, and then you have kind of in the middle mainstream sites like Reuters, Yahoo, AP. Most Americans see gay marriage as inevitable. So just like Israel sees the war, a uh, larger regional war, inevitable, uh, it says nearly three-quarters of Americans, including a majority of those who personally object to extending marriage rights to the same-sex couples, say legal recognition of gay marriage, as you paying for uh, two men or two women getting together calling themselves a married couple, uh, is inevitable, according to a survey by the Pew Research Center. I also found that just over half of Americans favor giving gays and lesbians the right to marry, while 42% oppose legalizing gay marriage. It says here it just keeps ticking up and up, and we wanted to register that we've crossed that threshold, says the director of Pew Research. Sounds kind of happy about that. G gay teens voted cutest couple in high school. I saw this from June 3rd. I thought I'd just include it. I love this intro paragraph. After all the recent stories about yearbook bullying, this stands out like a ray of light. Two gay teens have been voted the cutest couple at the New York High School. So... This homophobic bakery will cater dog weddings, but not gay civil unions. This, of course, being coming from the Atlantic Wire, I mean, uh, syndicated through Yahoo News. So it said, on May 1st, Colorado took a step forward, or a step towards civil rights progress. See, it's forward, it's progress, when it began recognizing same-sex civil unions. There's a joy acceptance, a big move for the state. St uh, history with gay rights said, had a contentious history with gay rights. So if you worked for the gay right agenda, you know, it was contentious, it was, uh, you know, you're a bigot. So, anyways, um, I just covered this, basically, about how uh, this baker, small, uh, this Christian baker, uh, didn't want to uh, basically serve uh, these people uh, and make a wedding cake for them because they were gay. So, it says he's now subject to a formal complaint sitting at the Colorado Attorney General's office. So, they're being sued, you know, they're being sued. Just like in Oregon, that lady was uh, uh, tried to be sued once, sued twice, because she refused to serve uh, gays. So they like to put a headline out here, um, you know, like this, this homophobic bakery will cater dog weddings, but not gay civil unions. It's like forcing, uh, it's like forcing, um, and I'm not, I'm not saying bad or good, but it's like force, forcing an atheist or, or um, an, an atheist shop uh, to, to make a cake with a big, crucifix on it or or or, um, or, or say a, um, a satanist or something um, instead of a six points whatever a six point star they have to put a big uh, crucifix on there or something they don't have to do shit for anybody if they want to turn away your customer they can right uh, you know like this person like remember i just covered it nazi parents lose custody of son named adolf hitler so it all started because what the story came to light when the couple attempted to get uh, Walmart to decorate a cake with happy birthday Adolf Hitler written on it soon after the story hit child services kidnapped the kids from the home now the parents have lost custody of their child forever so how about that you know school refuses to use graduates transgender names so he's being uh, or he or she whatever the heck it is is being victimized in Pennsylvania the graduation ceremony on Friday won't uh, hear his name read aloud as he accepts his diploma his Instead, he'll hear his legal female name, Sierra Stumboff. So, Wolf is transgender. I mean, when it's all said and done, uh, your names aren't you. It's not who you are. They're really just, uh, um, they're just really just corporate entities. Um, I think Freeman called them straw mans. So, I mean, in the end, it really doesn't mean crap. Um, but it's just pushing this agenda, you know, of course, and the ACLU took the issue to the school board. Transgender Navy SEAL Warrior Princess comes out. So a former member of the elite U.S. Navy SEALs has come out to say that she's now a woman. So thank you for your service and best wishes to you in the future.
Thank you for your service. Best wishes for you. Pro LGBT kindergartners perform Sydney Lopper's true colors in sign language. So everyone is worthy of love. A kindergarten class at the Olympic Primary Center in the Los Angeles Unified Dish School District ended their school year by sending a message in support of LGBT rights by performing Sydney Lopper's true colors. So just just despicable and sickening, you know. But uh, says here. Uh, this uh, teacher wrote on uh, his blog, Oh my God, conservatives were actually right on this one. The gay agenda is infiltrating our public schools, and you know what? It's absolutely fabulous. You know, and so homeschool your kid. Get him out of those schools. Um, and people say, well, how is he going to socialize? Well, if this is socializing, do you really want your child there around, surrounded by that? Gay marriage, a positive development, says retired Belgian cardinal. Former Archbishop of Brussels, uh, known as a leading liberal figure of the church, told media that gay marriage laws are a positive development and that uh, states are free to open up civil marriage for gays if they want. So, uh, moving on here, we have the Army soldier who was disciplined for serving Chick-fil-A at a promotion party. So it says here, the soldier was reprimanded, threatened with judicial action, and given bad efficiency efficiency report after sending invitations that read, in honor of my promotion and in honor of the Defense of Marriage Act, I'm serving uh, Chick-fil-A sandwiches at my promotion party. So uh, he was getting promoted to Master Sergeant. They said he is no longer a team player and was not performing up to standards, says the chaplain. This is one of those examples of a case of a soldier waiting or wanting to express his views and now he's been jumped on by the military. Northern Florida County that allowed Ten Commandments monument, monument reaches deal for atheist monument. So the courtyard outside the Bradford County Courthouse in Northern Florida will soon become home to an atheist monument that reached a deal to allow the American atheist to install a 1,500-pound granite bench near the courthouse. It will feature quotes from Thomas Jefferson. It will also include a list of punishments for violating the Ten Commandments, including stoning. It said the placement of the monument late June will end a lawsuit between the American atheists and the county. The national organization sued after Bradford County allowed a local group to install a monument that lists the Ten Commandments. Atheist says it is believed to be the first monument dedicated to atheism to be placed on public land in the United States. So, good. It's uh, what they pushed in uh, Soviet Russia as well by the Bolsheviks. So. And you can be rest assured that they're a minority uh, in that uh, county. They're probably about less than 1%, but they're going to get what they want. High school valedictorian, uh, valedictorian, sorry, rips up approved speech, praise forbidden prayer at commencement. Now I saw this on Yahoo, and I, you know, I was like, yeah, you know, they didn't say anything about what he actually did in the headline. That would have been kind of nice. They just said uh, high school student rips up speech and goes off script or something like that. But he defied the rules and recited a prayer during his speech to fellow graduates on Saturday. He uh, ripped up the school approved speech once he read or reached the podium again, speaking about his parents leading him to the Lord at a young age, adding that, I think most of you will understand when I say our Father who art in heaven. Now, you could have someone that's, uh, you know, that, uh, that could be an atheist or um, someone that can be uh, something different, um, even a Muslim, and, and say, well, you know, it was thanks to my parents that were raised, uh, raised me uh, not to believe in, in, in the spaghetti monster or raised me to uh, trust in Allah. And, uh, you know, it's their time. They should be able to say it. You know what I mean? It doesn't mean everybody else has to accept that. So it says here the Pickens County School District ruled borrowing, uh, barring prayer at school events came under a threat of lawsuit after the Freedom from Religion Foundation filed complaints regarding Christian prayers that are regularly recited at school board meetings. This is, I'm talking about atheism, this is done by Jews. I just want to put that out there. This is who does this. This is who pushes that. Like everything else about they can be um, uh, homogeneous with their culture, with their race, but everybody else has to be multicultural. Everybody else has to be... Um, uh, you know, um, politically correct, but they can say whatever they want. Uh, they push atheism, they push um, all these different sorts of um, uh, stuff going on in society, and yet they themselves like to stay very nice and conservative. And so we can kind of see, um, you know, behind the scenes here how this is working, who's pushing it, why they're pushing it for political control. They're a minority, they have to. They have to. Uh, they have to use these things, triggers, again, to like divide to people. I'm not hating on people. I'm just saying, you know, people need to not be naive. You know, 
It's about getting other. It's about getting people to the point to where they don't think for themselves. They don't think critically, and they don't speak their minds. Nebraska Catholic school. Uh, praying after former student masturbates with crucifix. Can't make this up. A Catholic school in Nebraska says it's praying for a former student who returned to campus to take nude photos and masturbate with a crucifix. The 19-year-old, uh, she started a nude photography business after graduating from the high school, says that some of her classmates from her former school, the St. Pius High School, started saying mean things, and that's when I decided to go there and show them that I'm here to stay, saying everyone at my high school, I had something rude to say when I started my website, so this is my tribute to all of you, laughing out loud. I held nothing back as I used my fingers, my toys, and even my crucifix. I'm not going to say that in her uh, vagina or in her private parts. I used every part of the, of the school I could get into. Uh, payback is a bitch. Ha, 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 ha. So it says here that um, she's now considering a photo shoot in pasties and panties at the Lincoln County Courthouse. That sounds fun to me, she insisted. So this is kind of like femin, uh, a feminist group from uh, out of the Ukraine uh, wreaking havoc in conservative Russia. And now they're bringing this crap here to the United States. Well, it's already been here. Uh, but when you go down the comment, um, uh, good for her. That girl's pretty awesome. Masturbating with a crucifix, that is what you call coming to Christ or to Jesus. So... So it's, it's completely one-sided, the whole free speech thing, because it's just like you could have some respect, you know what I mean? Um, I don't think I've ever called anybody a, ho a homo or a fag. I don't use that talk, that language. And I would, never would. I wasn't raised like that. Um, it doesn't mean that I have to accept what they're doing as being moral. But uh, to say stuff like this, is, I mean, yeah, you have the, the free speech to say that, but it's just uh, it's, not, it's not respectful at all. See, that's free speech, and then things that you know, things that I say would be considered hate speech. Only 19% of teens use contraceptives in Kazakhstan. Ooh, damn! So that's uh, pretty pretty bad stuff here. So it says we should also highlight the problem of access to contraceptives by adolescents and young adults. So let's just wipe over the fact that you know, as a teen, you probably shouldn't be having sex. Um, you should try to avoid it the most, the, the, as much as you possibly can. Uh, but they just completely pa bypass that that moral, uh, that, that that moral debate or that moral question, and say uh, or that mor moral tradition, and say, well, they're gonna do it anyways. So let's make sure that we can make sure that they have access to abortions. Let's make a smartphone application, in, uh, so that they can find an abortion clinic easily. Now they actually have that in New York City. You know, let's let's have students pulled out of class to make sure that they take their birth control every day. And let's teach them from when they're in preschool about how to masturbate. And they may not necessarily uh, 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 be attracted to the opposite sex. In fact, if you are attracted to the opposite sex, there may be a disorder with you. Being straight, no longer normal. See, students are taught that October 17th, 2012. Judge orders some morning after pills sold to girls of any age over the counter. Federal judges ordered two generic forms of this uh, emergency contraceptive to be sold over the counter pending a final decision in opening case with the Obama regime. Ohio legislature votes to strip funding for Planned Parenthood in hospitals that service abortion clinics. My body, my right. I love that South Park episode with Cartman. My body, my right. Ohio Senate on Thursday passed a $61 billion two-year budget, which includes controversial amendments that would limit federal funds for Planned Parenthood and would ban public hospitals from having patient transfer agreements with abortion clinics. Passed 23 to 10 will go before the House next Wednesday. Changes the way the state allocates money it receives from federal government. Says Ohio Right to Life and an anti-abortion group has been pushing for the amendment as it seeks to have Planned Parenthood defunded. This proposal will wreak havoc on tens of thousands of patients that rely on these facilities, uh, said Executive Director of Pro-Choice Ohio. Super Bowl champ Matt Burke skips meeting with Obama over God bless Planned Parenthood remark. So the Super Bowl champ uh, said about five or six weeks ago, our president made a comment in a speech. He said, God bless Planned Parenthood. He says uh, they perform 330,000 abortions a year. I'm Catholic. I'm active in the pro-life movement, and I just felt like I couldn't deal with that. Croatian court quashes Kinsey-based national sex ed uh, curriculum. So here says here, controversial sex education curriculum. To promote pornography, promiscuity, homosexuality to students as young as 9 years old. Bioethicist Peter Singer says women's rights to have children might have to be sacrificed for the environment. 
After a nine mile run, woman gets major shock, a baby. She didn't know she was pregnant. Kind of like the female on the front lines in Afghanistan. Mom gave birth to baby in toilet, threw her in a dumpster. And in 2010, women killed her baby in an airport toilet. Thank you.